Right, okay, so thank you for joining the Average Golfer at Royal Bled Golf Course for the first hole in this Man vs Golf Hole Challenge. And I always do this as a three hole challenge, but this might end up in a part one and two because there are so many good golf holes here at Royal Bled, it is difficult to know where to start. Anyway, it's early morning, I've drove out to the 15th um, hole. Some aerial footage is going over for you now. From the yellow tees that I'm playing from, it's probably playing in the region about 370 yards. As you can see down the right, over the brow, because you can't see that from the tee box, there's some water down the right hand side, so that's ready to catch you for driver, if you go that long and leak anything out to the right. And then the green is very tight, very narrow, uh, so it's important to get a good position off this tee. Anyway, I'm gonna go with four iron. Stroke index is 10, so there's no shots. So not a great way to start. The sun is coming out. I just need a decent four iron to start the day. Well, the four iron was the right choice of club because I took the water out of play because it gets very narrow down to my left. But the problem is if you choose to bail out with four iron and you get an extremely long shot in. And again, all part of decent course design. So driver gets you the short wedge in, four iron leaves you 180 into the screen. It's downwind and you can't see it, but I've got a camera over the other side of the fairway to hopefully catch anything if I get anywhere near this green. There's a pond to the left. I can't believe this is stroke index 10, but what a stunning golf hole. I'm going seven iron because we're playing quite a bit severe downhill, that's the plan. Heart in mouth, that was a really good strike with a seven iron and it's just got to the fringe of the green but it was at the water all the way, I was trying to play a little bit of a cut and it cut just that little bit and it's got onto dry ground. I'm really pleased with that shot. Like I said, this, ho this, ho like I said, this hole is absolutely stunning as will be everyone that I film here but uh, I stayed on here by the skin of my teeth and to be honest with you, to the flag which is to my left, I could have gone six iron possibly even five, it's right at the back end and I think my yard was to the middle of the green. Anyway, big two foot, it's a long way. Hopefully we picked that up on the other camera. It was perfect in terms of pace. I just thought it was gonna swing in that little bit more, but I've got to say, I'd have took that from there. Right, so, what is it? Four, five put for par. Don't forget that would be a half. I'm reading it slightly off that right edge. There's still plenty of work in this one. It was off that right edge, I just didn't strike it quite firm enough and uh, almost a good start, almost isn't good enough. That's one down. As I say on a lot of these challenges, um, and especially none more so than this place, I don't mind losing today. Right, next up in the challenge, hole 16, and what a golf hole this is. It's a par five, it's 550 yards. Drone footage going over for you now, and tell me, anyone criticised that golf ball because it is unreal, and uh, the challenge is unreal as well. From tee to green, you can see, there's a fair bit of water on this one, and I'm gonna need to uh, hit a couple of decent shots. It's stroke index six. We're gonna start off with the original mini driver and see if we can find a bit of short stuff. What a backdrop, everywhere you look. Oh, 
Well, it sung on to the first cut. It wasn't the best of tee shots. It went a little bit high, but to be quite honest with you, I don't think it'll be too bad from there. It'll leave a long second. There's no getting up in two for me on this one. So uh, we'll have to take that, I think. Yeah, not a great tee shot. That probably only went a couple of hundred yards and uh, went further up in the air than it did uh, forward. I've got 320 into this green. All the trouble is still down the left-hand side. I'm sitting okay. I'm going to go four iron, try and get 180, 200 yards out of this. Um, you see a little hut on the right hand side. I want to be 30 yards to the right of that, uh, left of that, and hopefully that should leave a short iron in. Don't go left. Well, it's a worker, it wasn't a great shot, and it got a little bit heavy, a little bit of grass before ball, but I think it's chased up there, and the main thing is we're still dry. Right, do you know what? It's, it's, it's done okay. Like I said, I've hit two pretty poor shots, but the important thing is I'm back on the fairway. I've got around 155. I'm hitting eight iron. A little bit of drone in front of this green, because I'll show you again, there is very little uh, room for error. It's a big green, but again, don't go left. You just got it to the flag, I think. The right club, it's good. Oh, stay there. I don't know whether it was coming back down a slope then. Really happy with that strike. It's the uh, only decent one of it on this hole. Uh, it is come up short, but it's middle of the green and we've got two putts for a win. Right, so we're onto the green in regulation and I'm really pleased after the first two shots. Uphill put, quite a big swing from right to left. One key feature about uh, Royal Bled is the quality of the greens but also the movement in them there's quite severe slopes and uh, i'm building this one up because i've got a feeling this is going to slip off way to the uh, left hand side if i'm not careful don't forget two for the win Quite pleased with that, didn't get it. I think the, the line was okay if the pace, it just needs to be that little bit firmer. Right, okay, so uh, it wasn't a greatly played hole. One good shot in effect, the iron into the green has made it, but that's a par five. That's a win for the average golfer, and that brings me back to all square with Royal Bled Golf Club. Right, next up on the challenge in the final hole, and it's all square, it's hole 14, and wow, what a golf hole. I love the way they do this uh, two halves of the fairway uh, with the uh, grass mown in opposite directions. It looks so good from that aerial footage that you're watching right now. Uh, no shot, it's about 400 yards and believe me, it's, uh, I thought this would have been lower in the stroke index because down by the green, that's a narrow green and as ever, there's plenty of water around this uh, part of the course. Anyway, see if we can get off the tee with a driver, mini driver. Try and hit that centre stripe and... We didn't quite manage the centre stripe, but we're right hand side of the fairway. It's a good start, but it looks a long way from the green, but uh, we're going to get a yardage and see what I've got left. First part is achieved. Right, the first thing is I need to have words of someone like the stroke index on this hole, because uh, I can't believe it's, I think it was 14, I can't remember. Uh, but water down the left, I've got about 170, 175 left in. I think the flag again is at the back end, so we're looking at uh, front short left is the best I can hope. I don't want to go long into that water.
Well, there's a bit of a hesitation there because I knew I'd hit into a tree and I didn't see that come down at all. And it's not too bad to be fair. Hopefully you caught it on a camera we had planted here anyway. Uh, but yeah, heart in mouth for a little while. But still plenty of work because don't forget no shots here. So for the half I need to get up and down. I'll be that, that'll be for the half overall. Yep, really pleased with that. Uh, like I said, on the greens it's so difficult and even there, as you see, I wait till the very end till that ball has come to a rest. But I've got a chance of a putt for a half, not only in this hole, but for the match. Pleased with that, put a smile on my face because I read it right and uh, I hit a good putt to finish off and that's a four which is a half on this hole and a half with Royal Bled overall. I hope you've enjoyed what I've shown you at this experience I'd call it. It's by no means just a game of golf, this is an experience. Um, everything about the hotel, uh, accommodation that is, uh, is unreal. The service is unbelievable just a short drive away from Bled which is really really pretty as well it is just idyllic is the only word I can use to describe it and a golf course where even if your golf isn't great then I still think you'd be hard pushed not to walk off here with a massive smile on your face anyway thank you for watching comments down below hit that like button and um, I'll end which is going to become my signature sign off I think because I'm going for a pint